When I first saw the trailer for the new IT film, I had one question on my mind. Is this going to be another overhyped horror film that relies entirely on jump scares for its impact? Or did the trailer just not do it justice? <laughs> In an attempt to answer my question, I looked into who was involved in the production of the film. Time Warner selected Andy Muschietti to direct the film. If you don't know who Andy Muschietti is, he's the guy who wrote and directed the 2013 film Mama. Mama was the story of two girls lost in the woods who were cared for by the spirit of a grieving mother they call Mama. When the girls are rescued and brought back into society, Mama follows them to their new home and becomes jealous of their new guardians. Muschietti did manage to get some impressive performances out of the actors he had, but his writing wasn't up to scratch. There were too many scenes in the film which didn't make sense and left you wondering what would motivate the characters to act as they did. Without a doubt, Andy Muschietti can jump scare with the best of them, but I don't get the impression from Mama that he knows how to effectively build tension. That's what I think a good horror film should be able to do. It's easy to have the music rise, suddenly fall away, and then have a creature jump at the camera from out of the shadows. <laughs> Building tension though, involves well-written dialogue, believable characters, and interesting scenarios. I'm not saying Muschietti can't pull off a truly nerve-wracking horror film, he's had three or four years to practice. I am saying that Mama wasn't that film. If we look at who's been hired to write this thing, we see that it has four writers. The fourth being Stephen King, since he wrote the original story, and the other three being Chase Palmer, Carrie Fukunaga, and Gary Doberman. Chase Palmer has written two short films I can't find, one in 2002 and another in 2004. He played Drunk Guy in Break Up at a Wedding. Kari Fukunaga has also written a couple of shorts in 2003 and 2004 I can't find, but he's also written an episode of the TV show The Alienist and a screenplay for a Netflix film called Beasts of No Nation. So Fukunaga has more experience writing screenplays than Palmer, but that's only because he's actually written one. You might have recognized Fukunaga's name. That's because he directed the first season of True Detectives, which was badass. It's too bad that he didn't write it. Our third writer, Gary Doberman, is the most accomplished of the lot, with more than one film under his belt. He's written the TV movie In the Spider's Web, Blood Monkey, Swamp Devil, Annabelle, Within, Wolves at the Door, and now It. In the future, Doberman will be writing for a TV series called The Terrestrial, and a film called The Nun. Now that I know a little more about the crew of IT, I can start to imagine what the film will be like. It's going to be directed by Andy Muschietti, who directed the jump scare marathon that was Mama, and written by three different people, two of which are unknown, and another who was responsible for abortions like Annabelle Within and Wolves at the Door. Unlike most people, I do not have high expectations for this film. If the past work of these four men is any indication of what we can expect from this reboot, then I predict a poorly written adaptation of an average novel, CG clowns, and a lot of pointless jump scares. One thing that I will actually love about the film, I predict, will be the cinematography. Chung Hoon Chung has been cast as the director of photography, and that guy is awesome. He was the DP on Old Boy, Thirst, and Lady Vengeance, as well as a bunch of other beautiful films. If Chung is on board, I'm at least confident that the film will look stunning, and that's something. Let me know what you guys think about the new IT film. Do you think it will be good? Do you think it will be bad? Do you think that my observations uh, have been uh, pertinent? Leave your comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you and I hope to start a discussion on this new film. If you like these kinds of videos, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel.